Welcome to another edition of On The Couch. With me today I have the scientific editor of the Journal of Physiotherapy, Mark Elkins. Mark, welcome. The APA has announced uh, some recent changes to the Journal of Physiotherapy for the 60th anniversary in 2014. And Mark's going to talk us through those changes now. Mark, a couple of the changes. Uh, so we'll be moving from being published in-house with the APA to moving to a commercial publisher. Sure. And probably the most exciting is that we'll be changing to an open access model so anyone can have access to the papers. Mm. And um, we will be having a bigger focus on electronic only access for people who, who don't feel wedded to the paper version and they can, um, there'll be a lot more that we can do with that. Okay, and so open access, why is that important for, for, for a journal to have open access? Um, I think it's a, it's a um, big draw card for um, authors to submit um, their papers to an open access journal because it means that anybody can read them, clini any clinician can access it and it will change the way they manage patients and researchers can see their papers and read them and cite them and use them to influence their own research. So the scope for you to, for your research to get out there is, is that much higher. Sure. And it's a huge bonus for readers because they don't have to have a subscription, they can access these original research papers and anyone in the world can, can um, access the journal, which is very exciting. And the journal landscape is changing globally. Um, is this in line with those global trends? Yeah, more and more people are, are moving to um, open access models, but most of them have a, a downside where the authors have to pay a very large amount to submit their paper sure. in order to have yeah. it published. Um, openly, but we've developed a very exciting model that's going to be free to the authors and free to the readers, which we think is pretty novel. We're not aware of any other journals doing this, and we think it's really going to suit everybody. Great. And in terms of physiotherapy journals, are we the first to move in this space here, in your understanding? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, you know, it's even going much wider than physiotherapy. We're really finding it hard to sure. find a lot of open access journals. There are some high profile ones, but a lot of journals are talking about it, but we're definitely the first physiotherapy journal to move in that direction. Okay, and the publisher itself, um, Elsevier, uh, well regarded globally on, with the academic journals? Uh, yes, they really are. And, and I think that is gonna give us a fantastic opportunity to keep on the cutting edge of these little small but crucial modifications in, in publishing, things like plagiarism detection yeah. software, little um, devices that can be put into papers so that if you download it and put it on your computer and a year later you bring up the paper, you can click on it and it will tell you if there's been any amendments, alterations, retractions. These little modifications make, make uh, a, a difference and it's hard to keep up with them, but someone like Elsevier will, will be on top of all those sort of things. So Fantastic. Look, some great developments and we're really excited. Uh, watch this space, we'll provide more updates as, as the year progresses, but 2014, uh, when it goes live. Um, so congratulations to you and the editorial board on a great achievement and, um, and for the APA members, watch this space. Thank you.